The following review has been approved by Lord Carnage and the best of Classic Game Room. Welcome to Classic Game Room. Back from vacation, I'm on my never-ending quest to review everything, including Cape Cod Potato Chips, Salt and Vinegar Flavor. Cape Cod Potato Chips feature the lighthouse from Nosset Light, even though these are made in Hyannis, Massachusetts. Let's tear open a bag of one of the greatest flavor combinations ever created in the history of anything. It's salt and vinegar. Yes, I recently took a tour of the Cape Cod Potato Chip Factory. All I saw were delicious potatoes being turned into chips. Not, not, not the, uh, not the TV show. These things. Sea salt and vinegar. The perfect mouth puckering recipe. Let's just ignore the nutritional data. All you really need to know is they're not made from people. Now for my favorite part of the review, eating the delicious Cape Cod sea salt and vinegar potato chips. Let's open the bag, which is easy to open. With superhuman strength. Uh, how do I review pure joy? Because that's what this is. Mmm. They've got that big time crunch that I love about Cape Cod potato chips. And the salty and tangy salt and vinegar flavor. Which is one of the greatest flavors ever invented for anything. Mm. Yeah, it's good. But is it on the Vectrex? As a matter of fact, it can be. If you like a good, firm, crunchy chip with a lot of great flavor that's not greasy, these are really the way to go. They're one of the best potato chips I've ever had, to be honest. And I eat a lot of potato chips. I would consider myself a potato chip connoisseur. You know, Cape Cod's got a bunch of flavors. Their original one is really good. I recently had a sweet chili flavor, which is excellent, and their waffle cut ones are dynamite. But the salt and vinegar is probably my favorite. I, I love salt and vinegar chips, especially when they've got a lot of vinegar, which these do. Let's take a close-up look at one of the salt and vinegar potato chips. They're not that large as far as potato chips go, so they're not all destroyed in the bag, which is nice. More often than not, you get a full potato chip until I start eating it where it uh, quickly vanishes. Also, I like that these look like they came from real potatoes. They have some of the skin and imperfections around the edges. I love them when you get them folded over onto themselves. That's the best. Because then it's like a double crunch where there's hidden salt and vinegar lurking on the inside. Oh my, these are good. And it's not just people who love potato chips. They can be enjoyed by other things, like dogs. I'm not sure if they're good for dogs, but this, this dog has eaten all kinds of stuff, and she's still here. They should actually hire me to write their marketing. Because I think the jingle could be, if you're tired of crappy, flimsy potato chips that don't taste like anything, eat Cape Cod potato chips. Which are big and crunchy. And they taste like a lot of things. Especially salt and vinegar. Oh. Sadly, they're not compatible with Game Boy. I've seen Cape Cod chips all over the place. If you haven't found them in your area, email or contact the company. If you love salt and vinegar, these are not to be missed. Cape Cod potato chips. <laughs> <laughs> it rhymes. This is more of an excuse for me just to sit here and eat an entire bag of potato chips while talking to myself than a review. And I have no problem with that. The best of classic game room is on DVD, Blu-ray, and Laser Hypervision album set. Subscribe to CGR. Woo!